I'm going to show you how to make a belly dance hip scarf just like this one. And we're using nothing but an old t-shirt, a pair of scissors, and a ruler. So rummage through your drawers for that old t-shirt because we're starting right now. Marhaba, I'm belly dancer Jen Suya helping you to achieve your belly dance dreams with the technique and culture of belly dance, which includes how to make a cool little hip scarf. Because who wants to spend a lot of money when you're just starting in this cool sport, which I know you're gonna love it. But in any case, this is a really cool shabby chic little hip scarf. So step one is to get the old t-shirt or new one, whatever you have. I like this one. I love turkey, which is just at least big enough to go around your hips. Now notice I can put this around, it wraps around. Even better is to take a bigger, an oversized t-shirt. And this is one from my husband, Drummer Bob, and you can see it's really worn out. Nice armpits. And this one is quite a bit bigger. So it just gives you a little bit more to work with, but if it's at least big enough for your hips, you'll be good. Step two, is we wanna take the t-shirt, and I'm gonna use the bigger one because I want to show you how to make it smaller, you know, how to, how to cut it smaller if you need to. So we're starting with this big one, and I'm gonna take it from the hem, a little raggy, but that's okay, and shake it so that we kinda of get that hem parallel. And then I'm gonna lay it flat on this table, okay? So then what I want to do is take the nifty scissors. Now, sewing scissors actually do work best. If you have regular scissors, try them. Sewing scissors are generally sharper and they cut fabric easier, but whatever you've got. I'm gonna cut just below the, the gross armpits and I'm gonna cut parallel to the hem, straight across. So I'm gonna start right here. And as I, to get this sort of straight, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna put my eye where I'm trying to go which is kind of cool because that's a metaphor for life, right? And then I'm going to glance where I am. So I'm enjoying the process, as they say, and yet looking at my goal. See, that's what I love about belly dancing is it's a metaphor for life too. Okay, and there's our nifty little crop top, which wouldn't hide much. So we're going to chuck that out of the way. Now, the next step is to cut off the seam of one side. And so basically I'm gonna be opening it up and getting rid of that sort of bulky little seam there. So here we go, just like this. And right on through there, get a little bit of that extra bulk there, okay. So far easy, right? Hey, are you new to belly dance or are you an experienced dancer wanting to, you know, make a cool little hip scarf? Just drop a comment below and let me know where you are in your belly dance journey. Now we're ready for the next step, which is to cut the fringe. This is where our ruler comes into place. If you're on the smallish to average size like I am, you're going to want to leave about 10 inches from the hem, the old hem of the t-shirt, which is the top of your hip scarf like this, you're gonna to wanna to leave about 10 inches. Now here, that's a little bit less because I have it bunched up. If you're more of a plus sized dancer, you'll wanna leave 12, 14, maybe even 16 inches. My rule of thumb is go bigger, bigger is better because you can always scrunch it up. And it, I think it's fun to have long um, fringe and to totally cover your tush. What we're gonna do now is take the ruler and just, at two inches, put it right there at the top of the hem, and then I'm gonna cut these little strips right up there. Now, I'm not gonna mark it because we don't need to be that precise. And we're just gonna cut through both layers, starting here and each one of these little doohickeys right up here to about there. Now I'm gonna move that over, it's kind of a guide. And I'm just gonna cut every I don't know what this is, quarter of an inch or whatever. So if you are new to belly dancing, and if you are new to our channel, while you're doing this, you can go to the playlist on our channel, the Gen Suyu Belly Dance YouTube channel. You'll see a playlist that's called New to Belly Dance, Beginners Start Here. And it's got tons of videos on all kinds of cool things like, is belly dancing moral and decent? Whoa. 
Um, what do Americans think of belly dance? Where we interview a lot of people on, you know, what they think it is. And it's, it's incredible how many misconceptions there are about it. I mean, not really. I had a lot of those too before I started. And there are playlists on performance skills and, you know, what is a Hofla and how do you prepare for your first recital? And of course, technique tutorials. I teach you, drummer Bob, my husband, the drummer, uh, Bob and I teach you how to um, do each move like a figure eight or a hip drop in detail. And then you can go to the um, playlist, you know, the workout and practice playlist and do workout, like five minute workouts with Bob drumming live. Totally cool. Totally awesome. And practice your moves. This last one, I'm just kind of cutting around that other seam. A little bulky, but it doesn't really matter. It's all gonna hang down and look fun and funky anyways. So at this point, if you're just like so excited you wanna start, you can actually use your hip scarf just like this. You can just tie it right on there around and you are ready to go. Just like that. But to really jazz it up a little bit more, we want to tie these little knots in it. And because this one is big, we don't need our fringe going that far. So we could cut off a little bit, not too much, but let's say we're gonna take it around the hip and about that much. I'm just gonna hold it with my hands. See, I've got it loose. I'm not, when I tie the hip scarf on, it will be pulled stretch tight, but I'm gonna take about that much this much i'm going to line it up with this one mark in fact let me just mark this so we remember eh, that's about six inches okay so it's about a six inches long so what we can do is line it up again go down here about about six inches and i'm going to go a little bit less than i'm going to go let's say to five inches instead right four and a half, five, about that point. So at those, and from there, that fringe, I'm gonna cut that off at an angle, you know, kind of right up there to about two inches so that I have a little bit more of this kind of curve right here and these tails to tie. I think it'll make it look better. That's what I was saying that it's really cool to have a, a bit, little bit bigger t-shirt. So we're gonna go to there and we're gonna take that to about right here. I'll just put a little notch. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. See if I can see that. And we're gonna go boop, just like that. Here we go. And I'm again looking at where I'm going, just like this. Nifty, maybe we can use that for something else. Now, this one, when we open it up, a little bit like that, and it will See, now I can really tie it and get it cool. We don't want to stretch it out yet because the next step is the tying of the knot. This is another part that's a little bit tedious. So after I show you how to do this and when you're making yours, you're again going to want to put on one of our cool playlists and just let it run and listen and learn while you tie your knot. So here I'm just going to take a couple of fingers, flip it over, pull it on through and then kind of ease it up there and tie the knot there. And then I'm gonna give it a little tug, which will kind of curl it and just know, give it a little pizzazz, you know. I mean, we are talking about a belly dance hip scarf. We want it to look fun and spark that, that knot's a little low, but that's okay. Watch out for the flies, but that's okay. So here we go, um, just like that. Super fun, pulling them to give them a little flare. Yep. also see on the Gen Suyu Belly Dance YouTube channel a playlist of costuming tips and tricks and on there uh, you'll see a, a 
video on how to tie a hip scarf, which is, you know, some of these inexpensive coin hip scarves. Um, they tend to be really tiny, but I show you some little tricks of how to tie them um, to make them look as nice as you can. And I also have some videos, we also have some videos on there of me making some of my costumes that I perform in. Um, one of them is a revamp of a costume. I, several of my costumes I'll, I'll buy uh, inexpensive, um, but really, really nice uh, sequined costumes in Turkey, and then completely disassemble them and remake them, add jewels, add new fringe, make headbands, that sort of thing. So there's one on uh, how I do that design process, and there's another one where you actually follow along with me. We took several months to make it as I revamped a costume, because, you know, as, as I've made costumes and performed, I've found, you know, what works, and it's like, oh, you know, what, when you look back on your old work, you're like, yeah, it's kind of amateurish. I can, I know how to do it better now. So, and that's the great thing about learning is we're always, we're always getting better at things. So you can check those out. They're really, I think that they're really fun. We had fun making them and I just, I love costuming and the, and the, the creative process. So you can also just drop another comment. Tell me what you think. I mean, I'm sure that you also are going to love costuming because you're watching this video. And so that means you like to make stuff and put your own personality in. And wouldn't it be cool to take a t-shirt, you know, these are just plain ones, but one with some kind of neat pattern or a saying, a, put a saying on the back, like I wanted to do with this, this I love turkey one. I gotta figure out how to do that though, cause it's upside down if we do it this method. So we'll have to check that out. So now as you put it on, and I like to tie them around one hip, you want to take that and give it a nice stretch so that it'll form to you. I've got the, the hip, um, put it around your hip bones, not up above your waist, and then grab those sort of tie ends and give them a nice, I'm kind of trying to curve it so that I keep the seam enclosed there. A little square knot, pull that stuff around. And then in the back, I can, you can sort of pull this up and make sort of a little hip band like that. I don't have the mirror, but, and then you can shake that. Let's try it out with Bob playing the drum. So what you should do next is head on over to the channel, do one of our belly dance workouts, check out your technique tutorials, and try out your new hip scarf. Let me know how it comes out.